10, 9, 8. All right. Seven, Stand by via six, Lori's mic. 5, 4, 3. And two, some music. 1. And fade up. Cue Lori. The search is Super. on for two teens who escaped from an area detention center. It's the third time it's happened in the last few weeks. And tonight, it's about to wipe and change. From Metro's top cop. Wipe, change, super. Another life lost on a Tennessee road. Today, a serious crash in Wilson County. We'll hear from the woman who's Spread tried the to help. And solve. Live from Music City, this is Metro's by Cam One. to attend. Lori's mic, dissolve, Q, super. A terrible crash kills one person and closes a busy road for several hours. Good evening, I'm Lori Mitchell. Thanks for joining us. Loose. Highway 109 in Wilson County has just reopened. It's my animation package. Wreck. Animation. Tonight, we're hearing from a good Samaritan who was on the scene and jumped into action to help the victims. Package. This was the scene along Highway 109. We had on two, Sunday then turned to one under an animation County. for A19. After a pileup involving five cars and a tractor trailer. Nurse Brittany Ross was in one Brittany of those 16. cars, but Thank was you. not hurt, so she jumped out to try to help. Just go into nurse Brittany. mode. Just survival mode. Ross Loose. tells us what she did next. So the first thing I did was go to the That super time was a little shorter condition. than was written there. Um, he had a faint pulse, so I tried to wake him up. There was no response at all. Um, so I kept holding for a pulse. There was other people on the other side trying to help. Oh, um, the driver, he kept wanting to <laughs> shake his head. We were trying to keep his head still. The Tennessee Highway Patrol confirms one person died at the 57. scene. Two people were injured and flown to the hospital. Ross says a female victim told Let's her keep everything she was to the pregnant. Notes. By so two sorry, the tag. I for them and Hope Five seconds. Okay, her okay. mic take. We just heard back from the Tennessee animation Highway one key Control. next is they A19. Are not the names of those involved in the crash yet. They are still working to notify family members. As soon as we get that information, we'll be sure to pass it along to you. Animation. New tonight, anxious My moments one. on a Delta what? plane that had to make an emergency landing in Nashville this afternoon. Via. A flight from Atlanta to Super. Chicago was diverted to Music City when the cowling flew off the engine. Well, animation Delta to key next for 820. Nine passengers and five crew members were on board at the time. The plane landed safely with no injuries. Animation. Happening now, two teens are on the run Lines after up. escaping from the G4S it's my package with the bug. River Academy in Donaldson. It is the third time in less than a month that Metro Police have responded to the residential treatment and detention facility. Police spent all morning long searching for the two escapees. News 2's Julie Edwards was there. Take. Around 7.15 Sunday morning, Metro Police were notified that two 15-year-olds, oh, Jason super. Crawford right. and Hunter Hackney, had escaped we got to from one the GPS tag. Stones River Academy the on Stewart's Ferry Pike. Both well, Hackney Pan and, and the Crawford OTS are youth stayed there for eight twenty two. The facility Sorry, is for run by contractor G4S. It's a residential treatment program that provides therapy, counseling, and education. But this is the second time that Crawford and Hackney have escaped from the facility. Metro officers spent three hours yeah. searching for the teens through brush and heavily wooded areas before calling off the search around 10.30 a.m. We used a significant portion of the manpower for Hermes precinct this morning. We also had officers from the park police come out and assist us with their ATVs, and we called out our aviation unit. Police also dedicated significant manpower to the facility less than a month ago when five it's teens rioted inside. Right. They were accused of assaulting employees and other residents. In a strongly worded statement released Sunday afternoon, Police bug. Chief Steve Anderson said, I am very concerned about the apparent lack of remedial action after escapes from this facility over the past several months. In an email to me, the Department of Children's Services said G4S runs good programs like this one, but DCS says teens have run away in the past and may do so in the future. My one. In Donaldson, Julie Edwards, News 2. Take. Metro officers are encouraging their ad. residents to use caution and secure valuables until the teens are found. Ad. If you've seen Jason Crawford or Hunter Hackney, pan. call Metro Police. That number is 862 8600. Pan and drop super. Four full days since anyone has seen nine year old Carly Trent or her uncle Gary Simpson. Tonight's new video of the two of them at a store in the little girl's hometown. 
take the, uh, the TBI, super. the girl you see in the striped shirt and shorts is Carly. They believe the man she is with is her uncle. The video was captured after Simpson picked her up from school on Wednesday. That is the last time they were seen. The U.S. Marshal Service is donating $2,500 to anyone who leads them to Carly. Her pediatrician is also offering a $10,000 reward. Officers believe Simpson and Carly could be camping because he was seen buying camping That's supplies one, before taking the little girl out of school. Take. A group of local bicyclists are on their way to Virginia to help raise money for Smile families of fallen police officers. Pull. They left Super. Brian early this morning to start their 250-mile journey to meet fellow bikers for Law Enforcement United. In the past 20 years, four Metro police officers have lost their lives in the line of duty. And wife saw it's just change. a chance to um, you know, honor the memory of officers that have been in the line of duty and the, the sacrifices and the pain that we feel when we're traveling up these hills and riding these 250 miles is just is nothing compared to the sacrifices that were given by these officers. Our mic cue. All nine members of that group. Animation one key next, A27. Former officers. Animation. New tonight at 10, mothers across one's Middle up. Tennessee were showered with love and honored today. Lots of acts of kindness. At Cornerstone Church in Madison, morning worship was led for the first time ever by female worship leader and mom, Gail Davis. The, uh, the service focused on appreciation for single moms. They were praised for taking on dual roles and overcoming obstacles. At the end of the service, one single mom drove away with a new car donated by Wholesale Inc. The lucky winner selected by her peers was Marissa Schaus of Nashville. She is the mom to a four-year-old little boy. But that's not all. Every single mom attending today's Just service got fifty dollars cash for Mother's Day. Wife, change. It was a very special occasion for another local mom who gave birth to her first child today. She had a baby girl named Glory. There she is right there. She delivered the baby at Vanderbilt Medical this Center. And the new mom says now that her baby is here, she has a different view on motherhood. Why change? Okay, after having her, I really know what mothers go through. Lose you know, to my I, continue. I really respect them for all they do, and they're just awesome. Thank you. The new mom says this experience has been life changing, 30. and she is excited to begin their new adventure together. Why? A sweet story out of Westmoreland on this Mother's Day, where blue lights meant red roses. Instead of handing out tickets, police pulled over moms to give them a red rose during their morning patrols. Most women drivers were shocked and then, of course, pleasantly surprised once they knew why they were actually being pulled over. The long-stemmed roses, complete with faces, were donated by the local again. Council of Arts. Why? And kids Change. at Vanderbilt Children's Hospital had the chance to give their moms something next. special today. The hospital opened a Mother's Day store on Friday. It was one-stop shopping where young patients got to choose from things like jewelry, spa packages, and gift cards for their moms. There was a craft station where kids could make cards and wrap the presents that they picked out. The items were all donated, so everything was free. And why and it was just a really neat thing to know that we could come out here, pick something out, no charge, and it just it just kind of puts Lose. Uh, just to make it's a continue. Really field on the stay here because there's enough there's enough that'll get you down but this is this is like a silver lining cute yeah the kids had spent a wipe nice moms loved the gifts that they selected vanderbilt hopes to open more holiday stores in the future and any businesses interested in donating items should contact the hospital wipe nats super hold on not yet i got it over here too and bring it down Q. Keith Urban is playing a free I came show for the T is next. Nashville. He will play at noon on the plaza in front of Bridgestone Arena. It's his first show since releasing his ninth studio album that came out on Friday. And dissolved. Two's up. A bizarre murder in Florida where a man shot Graphic. his brother over food. Why Just my Jeff at the wall. What charges he is facing next? Take Jeff. Well, we have some dry weather, some mild weather, and fairly cloudy weather, but we do have rain off to our west. We'll talk about the timing of that moving into Middle Tennessee coming up. Take.
It's a great Mother's Day for someone because someone won the huge Powerball jackpot in last night's drawing. We'll tell you where the winning ticket was sold and if there were this any This is my four on, prices. Corey. Take. Coming up Corey. after the news on Sports Extra, the Nashville Predators are back. The Take season's the on the Music. line, but they're back uh, in Smashville for an elimination game. Willie Donnick joins wipe. us in studio to talk Preds and Sharks. Wipe. And we talk Titans. We've seen a lot of Stand new faces come break. to town this spring, but which one is most important? We'll answer that tonight on Sports Extra. In three, two, one, and...